was a very sloppy live version of NIB featured on there goes my skull that was a very uh, live but sloppy version of um, Black Sabbath's uh, nib version recorded at the Rugman's Youth Club in Dumfries, Scotland, November 16, 1969. Uh, right when they got done recording their debut album, right before the release of it, and right after they changed their name from Earth to Black Sabbath. Here's the psychedelic looking cover. This particular version was released by Witch House, which I believe is some kind of um, some kind of late, some kind of record label, and this is the other one released by Top Gear, which is some kind of again some kind of record label. And um, I don't know, I still can't figure out if these are the same shows, but just different covers and different pictures, different back, or if one is show one and the other one is show two, or this is show one, this is show two, but this one has more songs on it than this one but it they both say that they're recorded on the same day so these might be two separate shows I can't figure it out they're very similar sounding um, but here it is the front photo here is the Maple Dorham 15th century water mill house from um, which is the this is a more modern picture of the location of where the debut album cover was taken. This is called Black Sabbath Early Rituals. This particular uh, release, some rare pictures. The colors that they use are awesome. It's like a purple and a blue. Very psychedelic-y looking. Photos. There's a photo of the debut album location for where the picture was taken. This is a more modern day picture, by the way. That's a still. It's a real landmark. It's still there today. Again, I'm using the Boss BD2 Blues Driver and the Boss uh, GE7 Equalizer. The kit is on the dance floor ambient setting and a little bit of slapback delay on the on the amplifier to get a vintage bootleg uh, sound to make the drums sound like crap as if as they do on these recordings because these are like bootlegs so I have the drums sound in the way they do to mimic that bootleg sound and that small ambience acoustic sounding club or bar room setting some rare pictures and it says that um, Ozzy Osbourne sang through a uh, 100 watt uh, Vox PA amplifier with two Vox columns with four 10 speakers in each of them Geezer and Tony, Geezer and Tony um, basically use Laney amp stacks, 4x12 speaker cabinets. Um, their amp heads were only 60 watts, one amp per stack. And then Bill's kit was the basically the, um, the kit that I've been talking about in the videos. It's the 60s gray ripple. Um, Oyster Pearl wrap finished color looking kit uh, which was used on the debut album supposedly which is only uh, 14 inch hats 22 inch bass drum 12 inch rack tom 16 by 18 or 18 by 16 floor tom he had like one cymbal over here like a ride or a crash ride and then he had a splash on the cymbal stand attached which the coming off the bass drum and a cowbell 
and he had a 400 Superphonic Chrome Ludwig snare drum, I believe. Premier Ludwig hardware and uh, a Ludwig Speed King, according to the research. the other one recorded live at Rugman's Youth Club Dumfries Scotland on the 16th of November 1969 this one has some other songs that the other CD does not early pictures The photos, even on the CD, are just awesome. Great collector item. Here they are praying to the god of rock. Uh, rare photos. Some of these photos I've never even seen before. Again, it was kind of hard to hear over some of these recordings because the, they're so the boot-like sound on them is just so antiquated and distorted. So you can hear me getting off at some points, but also I think the guys were getting off as well because there's a lot of tempo changes in this one, in this uh, on this version of uh, NIB or NIP. So it was, it's kind of hard to follow along, but that's how it was in, in those kind of environments. They didn't have great recording systems. There's the debut album. First released in February, Friday the 13th, 1970. the Ludwig bass drum head seen on Bill Ward's uh, Ludwig kit and here's an earlier one right after they changed the band name from Earth to Black Sabbath That's it, guys. We'll keep that one kind of short. There's a debut album of the beautiful Louisa Livingstone. And that's it, guys. Thanks again. Thank you.